Hey folks, JD here, and today we're going to look at taking your videos and your photos off your Parrot Disco. Now, this isn't difficult uh, and can be done extremely easily. It wasn't what I expected, though, so that's why I'm going to go through this a little bit differently and actually make a video up on this. So, when you've got your Parrot Disco, what you've got to do first, obviously, is take off the, the cover. Once the cover's off, then you have your battery with your XT60 connector. So, what you've got to do first is you have to use the left hand USB micro USB port under here. Can't use the right, it has to be the left in order to get your information off. So plug in your USB cable, then power up your, plug in your battery into your disco, and then once you've done that, then turn her on. Then once she's turned on, what you'll find if you're using uh, Mac OS, and if you use an iMovie or Final Cut, whatever your default preference is, it'll automatically open up iMovie or Final Cut and allow you then to import all of your movies and your pictures directly in that way. Then from there, what do you do? Well, it's quite simple. You've got to actually go in and you've got to actually find the files if you want them in their raw format to drag them off and do what I do, which is then keep your files for a later date. So let's have a quick little look at that. So then what you need to do is you need to go into, a, your, into your movies and then you need to find your movie file. Now in this instance I'm using iMovie to pull everything off just because that was the application that opened. So then I can show package contents. It's at this stage you have to be very, very, very careful because you can end up screwing up your whole of your iMovie library. So quite literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to find the, the, the same name of the event that I've created. Inside there you're going to find your original media files and you're going to find your two original files. So both of these are the original files from the disco, as you can see. Then I can copy them, don't move them directly, copy them into your particular place that you want to keep them. Once you've done that, you should then find that you have then got that in raw format, should you then want to use them in any other video or anything else along those lines. Now then, once you've got those files, you can then use them wherever, however you want to. That's just a little quick thing just to show you exactly what to do because the manual does explain what to do but it quite literally says get a USB, get a micro USB, plug it in, turn on your drone and that's it. It doesn't tell you anything more than that. I wanted to go into a bit more detail. So now that you've done that you can then import them into whatever and you can just render away uh, and you can edit away rather and then just make your videos up from there. So I hope that's been of some help, folks. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.